Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is a free hypnosis session for nail biting. Now, this isn't something that I really do myself due to the fact that I worry, well not worry so much, but I'm concerned about the germs that will get underneath my fingernails in a day-to-day -day situation, just for the simple fact that not everybody washes their hands when they go to the toilet. And those people that don't will come out of the toilet and they'll be opening doors, you know, touching door handles, putting their hands on different things that I may end up touching myself. Then I'll go and put that into my mouth and ultimately I'll maybe put in parts of their excrement into my mouth and not really something that I want to do so that's kind of the main reason why I don't bite my nails so it means I have to cut them which is a bit of a pain. In some ways it'd be handy if I did bite them because I wouldn't have to cut them then. But, <laughs> but I'm not gonna suggest biting them to avoid cutting them because that would kind of go against the whole point of this session. You know, especially if I start off saying, have you considered continuing? Because that would be silly. So the point of this, session basically is to allow you to move on from that I've got a friend actually who doesn't bite her nails she's got long nails naturally long all manicured and you know apart from one she's got one of her little fingers that she bites. And this is kind of uh, something that I've not seen before, but ultimately it works for her then you know it could work for you but then there's there's a point isn't there when if you can stop biting nine out of ten fingers I'm including thumbs as fingers for the sake of it digits should we say digits so nine out of ten fingernails you can just leave then surely there was a point where you were able to only buy two out of ten fingernails and seven at some point which means that once you get to nine the logical progression is to get to the point where you don't buy any and if you only bite one, what is the point, really? I mean, unless, of course, you just like to treat yourself to a bit of some stranger's poo that might be under that fingernail after you've used a public toilet or just gone somewhere public. Put your hand on a banister, press the button, use the public phone you know just gone to the supermarket bought some food touched a can of soup 
you know, got it from the shelf where someone that works there stacked it. Maybe they'd gone to the toilet, not washed their hands. Who knows? So it's, you know, it's apart from the fact that it's good to wash our hands, it's, uh, it's good to perhaps not be sucking on our fingers or sucking out the the dirt from underneath the fingernails of course we don't do it for that reason I don't I'm sure that people don't do it for the taste I wonder what I've got wonder what kind of taste I'm gonna get today at least I, I imagine not but they might I don't know but for me, I just, I look at my fingernails and I think, I think I'll just leave them. I don't really fancy finding out what's underneath there. And you know, I do try and keep my fingers clean, keep my hands clean. Not excessively, just, just wash them whenever I, it's time to wash them, basically. You know, of course, it's the, it's the old thing. I was brought up when I was a child to wash my hands before eating. So if I was going to have some food, then I'd wash my hands. I wouldn't always wash my hands. Sometimes I just pretend to. You know, I'd turn the tap on um, because I couldn't really see the point. But then when I got to 30... <laughs> No, but then when I became an adult, I can kind of see the point. So this isn't really about washing your hands, and it's not about, you know, creating some kind of um, fetish for washing your hands, or creating some kind of unhealthy need to do anything it's really about avoiding unhealthy needs unhealthy activities things like biting your nails because instead of just being something that damages your fingers instead of just being something that looks horrible It's actually something that could cause illness. So biting your fingernails could cause illness. With that dirt that collects underneath, or even just the dirt on the fingers themselves. Unless of course you scrub your fingers clean and make them nice and clean before you bite your toenails. Toenails or fingernails? If you can reach your toenails, good luck. You're a lot more flexible than me. In some ways, biting your toenails would probably be more healthier than biting your fingernails because you don't touch doorknobs, door handles. You know, there's probably less chance of that bacteria getting there. But of course it has its own bacteria, doesn't it? That's why feet get so smelly, I guess. So, a lot of people, they wanna stop biting their fingernails specifically because they're fed up. You're fed up with them looking disgusting. You know, in your own opinion. But also, you may be fed, fed up with them, you know, feeling horrible, feeling, you know, painful, raw. Because biting the fingernails quite often isn't enough for people. Sometimes they like to bite all around the fingernail, biting the skin off. 
oh, I'm feeling hungry just thinking about it. And um, there are better things to eat. I just want to put that out there. There are nicer things to eat. I'm not saying eat lots of chocolate, but maybe transfer putting that in your mouth and putting something else in your mouth instead. It doesn't have to be chocolate. It could be a piece of fruit. You know, it's just what can you do in order for yourself to just do something different. And it's about wanting to change as well. It's not just about, you know, I oh know I'll listen to this audio and then I'll change and things will be different. Because that's not really necessarily how it works. It can work like that. I mean, there are some people out there, I'm sure, that um, have a way to influence others in such a powerful way that, you know, there's very little effort made on the side of the person that's doing the listening. And then they finish listening to the session and they feel, you feel different. You feel like the, you know, you, you don't need to do that behavior that you used to do before. Not only that is you kind of forget what the behavior was. And those stimuli, those things that used to stimulate you wanting to do that behavior seem to disappear and it's no longer of any importance to you and it's not a case of wow that is amazing aren't you amazing um, I can't believe you just did that and I didn't have to do anything and now I don't want to bite my nails anymore because it's just un unimportant to me it's no longer a big deal. It's just irrele irrelevant. It's it's one of those things that I used to do when I was younger. I don't do it anymore. And it's, it's just not a big thing. It's just gone. And it's kind of... I find that with... Um, like when I stopped smoking back in 1999... At the time, it was a big deal that I wanted to stop, and I tried to stop quite a few times. I stopped with hypnosis in the end, did self-hypnosis, and it turned out that actually not smoking is not a big deal. Stopping smoking is not a big deal. Stopping anything is actually not a big deal. It's the opposite. And that's yet again an issue that people struggle with because it is so easy I think that annoys people that when they find out that actually stopping doing this is actually just as easy as just not doing it that's all it is it's just not doing it now and then when it comes to another time, you're not doing it then either. And because this thing that may have been life changing in some ways, affecting your life, because you want so much to not be doing it anymore, to be rid, you're gonna be rid of this and you want this gone. And it's gone. So you kind of, you just want it out of your life. So there's a degree of building it up. Having built it up in your mind. 
and then when you realise that actually it's just gone so easily that it can be a bit of a not a letdown because obviously you've accomplished what you set out to accomplish but it can seem a little bit unreal it's like how can it be so easy this thing that has been you know maybe on your mind for years and you may have I mean with uh, fingernail stuff you might have been putting on some kind of really disgusting tasting nail varnish so that it makes you feel ill every time you bite your nails and things like that what that's doing is challenging you you know it's going against you this isn't going against you this is this is traveling with you if you do something because it's aversion therapy but there's a part of us when we do things like aversion therapy there can sometimes be a part which says I'm stronger than this I'm stronger than this uh, bad tasting nail varnish I can overcome that that's not going to stop me and I don't think it's a conscious thing necessarily because in some ways when we do something like that and cover ourselves with something that tastes bad in some ways we're telling ourselves that we're giving kind of mixed messages like um, I want to stop but I don't you want to stop doing this thing but I don't kind of not sure if I do you know so I have to do this other stuff to try and force myself when actually it's just really simple and maybe I shouldn't be telling you this maybe I should be charging you lots of money and you know going down that route to make out that it's a big deal and you know do lots of hocus pocus lots of big words um, make lots and lots of different sessions all about the same thing the big, a big build up maybe but it's not needed all that's needed is an idea all that's needed is your mind to wrap itself around the idea the realisation because once you know something, you can't forget it. Once you know that this is easy, you're not going to forget that it's easy. In the same way, is if you had a turtle in your bathtub, and it's full of water, and you had a turtle in there, or if you had a bathtub full of piranha fish, no way in the world are you going to get into that bathtub to have a bath. You're not going to forget that there's piranha fish in that bathtub. Once you know, you know. So it changes. It changes things. It makes things interesting I think it's a it's a personal perspective but I find these things interesting the idea that you can just listen you can just listen to me and I do things a little bit different I'm not trying to zonk you out or trying to get you to do anything that you don't want to do I'm not trying to go against your own personal perspectives or needs or requirements it really is a case of just 
doing this as it is just talking to you as a person communicating with you both consciously and unconsciously and your unconscious mind can listen to me but it's going to get a bit bored and you'll drift off maybe you may be following every word but your unconscious mind definitely is following those words that are needed and that's what the unconscious mind does it takes what's needed it doesn't need certain things it's not interested in the things that are of no importance like the conscious mind may notice what I mentioned about the toenails but the unconscious mind ignores that stuff because it's irrelevant maybe humorous maybe silly but it's irrelevant for why we're here and what we're doing right now so I think the good thing about these kind of sessions getting to talk getting to just express yourself internally in a way that allows you to really make those changes because that's what this is about you don't have to do anything there's nothing involved it's not an emotional thing it's not some kind of big thing it's just you allowing those changes to naturally occur in your own way in your own time and it's a great opportunity it really is I just think it's amazing that words can have such a powerful effect simple words simple sentences simple truths can change the way you feel and the way you think about certain things that used to be on your mind in the past and as I said it's a great opportunity to just move forward in the direction that you choose to move forward into moving closer to the way you want things to be so that your fingernails will just be there they'll just be there this is not a big deal this is just they're just nails there's nothing tasty about them there's nothing enjoyable about them they're just nails and I think I've nip hit the nail on the head when I say that you really can just let them go and let them grow and know that it's not just that your nails will grow that's a secondary thing 
notice that you'll also be healthier because you won't be putting your fingers into your mouth. Which is a good thing to not be doing. In the same way, if you had a small child and you saw that small child picking something up off the floor as you're walking down the street and the child goes to put that thing into its mouth, you say no. If it's your child, of course, you say no. If it's someone else's child, you just let them do it, I guess. But if it's, if it's your child, you just say no, because you, you don't want them to put that into their mouth. You don't want them to put something they've picked up off the floor. In the same way, maybe treat your own fingers and your own body and mouth with the same care and love that you treat a young child. Give yourself that love. Share with yourself that kindness, that caring, that consideration. Because you're worth it. Aren't you worth loving? I think so. You're worth caring for, being considerate towards, noticing how you feel different towards your fingernails. Because things change. And we're always changing, you know, we're always changing. We never stay the same. Always moving forward. So even if there's a sirens going off in the background, makes no difference. Because we're in a different place now. It's a place where external sounds are of no importance. It's just my voice and your ears. You and me together talking and communicating in a deep level. It's only me and you here, no one else involved, and you're safe. And it's quite a nice place to be, knowing that you can just let go of those stresses and issues that you were having before which maybe was causing the need to bite your fingernails in the past and I wonder if you have any kind of new behaviour that you can replace it with something that will be healthier for you something that would be more effective in giving you whatever it is that you need. Because I don't know what it is that you need. I can guess as a human being what it is that we all need. We all need love, kindness, Caring, healing, relaxation, maybe.
may be by not doing something that's damaging can give you some of that maybe that's all you need sometimes if your hand is really really cold all you need to do is just take your hand from underneath the cold tap so that you've no longer got cold water splashing on top of your hand you don't need to put your hand underneath the warm tap you just need to leave your hand away from the cold tap long enough for your hand to warm up naturally to the temperature of the room and then you might think well what was my hand doing under the cold tap to start with what was I getting from it maybe you weren't getting anything maybe it's an old behaviour that no longer gives you anything and I think we all have those I have those no doubt you'll have some of those as well you may not even be aware things that in the past were useful but now no longer are relevant so yeah I wonder what other things there are locked away or hidden may be an issue or may have been an issue in the past that you can let go of that you can just wave goodbye and although we're focusing solely on fingernails that's the thing we're focusing on right now that's the thing that we're looking at there may be other things that you can also let go of there may be other things that you can also just decide to let go And then just go from there. There's no hurry. There's no demand. There's just you and me talking, communicating together. And I wonder how you feel right now. And if you're still listening right now, then you will have gained some benefit. Otherwise, you would have turned this off a long time ago. You may feel relaxed and calm. You may feel loose and gentle, gently relaxed. And that's okay. Because Though this isn't necessarily a relaxation session, the idea of relaxing and letting go can be so useful. 
and are helpful. in allowing you to make changes. And you're not making the changes, you're allowing the changes to naturally occur. You're allowing the changes to naturally be there. Easily and naturally your fingernails will grow in the same way that a plant grows or a tree or a flower the same way that a small puppy grows You may not even notice as you look at them every day, watching them, looking at the nails, thinking to yourself, when are you going to grow? When are you going to grow? Grow, grow. And then a week later, after you've forgotten to look at them, you notice that they have grown. that all your fingernails are longer than they were a week ago. And in the meantime, you can feel them growing. Even if you may not be able to see them growing, you can feel something different within your fingernails. Whether it's the fingers, the fingertips, underneath the nails, around the nails whether it's just the healing process of the skin around the nails starting to heal themselves as you give your fingernails that space to heal you give yourself time for them to grow, heal and grow, heal and grow. And this allows you an opportunity to just appreciate Having some space away from biting those nails the way you used to. An opportunity to save your teeth from that pressure. An opportunity to save your taste buds from having to go through that process giving your body a rest from those germs that could cause illness. Allowing your mind a chance to take a break from thinking about it. Just take some time off. To just give yourself, uh, just give yourself some time to recuperate, to regroup 
to get in touch with who you are really. Having a holiday from your nails, giving yourself, you're giving your nails a holiday from you and your teeth biting into them, knowing that there's much tastier things to eat and also remembering that you can do this without conflict it's no longer a conflicting situation where you want to do something that you don't want to do it's no longer one of those situations it's a case of you wanting to do something or you not wanting to do something depending on how you look at it it's about just doing it or not doing it so you either choose to do something or not do something no longer trying to go against yourself which means you'll be with yourself travelling in the same direction on the same page of the same book and because of this session you've decided that you're no longer going to be biting your nails and that's what you've decided you decided that before you came here and listened to my voice communicated with me you decided this so from now on you can remember that it really is that easy it really is that simple to just let go to just accept that you're in charge to realize that nobody else has the ability to tell you what to do or to cause you to do something that you choose not to by choosing the path of no longer biting your nails it gives you a freedom it can actually give you a sense of not just well-being but accomplishment something that really is worth having so I wonder how you're feeling now how your life is without biting your nails moving forward I wonder how things are going to be for you now and no matter what happens no matter how easy you'll find things it's still worth celebrating 
because you have done this. You have accomplished what you set out to accomplish and it's something to celebrate. Isn't it something for you to reward yourself for? So I wonder what you can reward yourself with. What is it that you can give to yourself? Relaxed and calm, loose and easy, letting go even more. So calm. And we're not far from the end of the session. And I realise that you may just want this to last for a bit longer because you feel so relaxed and calm physically and emotionally. But think about it. You can test it now. You can test this new learning that you have by being able to look at your fingernails and know that that compulsion that you used to have in the past is gone. It's dissolved. It's no longer valid. Because whatever was driving you before has disintegrated. Gone. For good and you can enjoy knowing that you have done this yourself you are the one that has made a difference you are the one that has made these changes. Nobody else has done it for you. You have done this yourself. And you can feel good about that. You can feel good that you've really made a change to your own life and you know what if you can do this if you can now spend the rest of your life with healthy nails that grow that you need to get cut every couple of weeks or whatever you know you know that you've got rid of this compulsion that you used to have before you decided to listen to my voice. If you can do this, which you have, what else are you able to do? If you can do this, which you have, what other compulsions that you may have can you eliminate from your life? If you can do this and you have, what can you do to change your future into the shape of a future that you long for, a future that you look forward to, a future that really represents 
who you are now and who you will be instead of who you were in the past which then gives you a bit more control and it gives you a bit more a bit more of an of a view of a an open mind towards what can be instead of what will be giving you an opportunity to be yourself to be the person that you were born to be to be who you are now and also recognizing that things change times change the world changes and it's okay that you also will change as you move forward into the future into a wonderful life the future of your dreams a future that you can make happen turning those dreams into reality and this is just the start because you know that from now on no longer biting your nails the way you used to now that that's eliminated I wonder what else you can do I wonder how this will affect your life in a positive and meaningful way what a great opportunity for you to take on board all these new learnings and to take it with you and to move it into the future travelling along beside you as well in this stream of life this new learning can always feed you always give you encouragement always remind you that you really are capable of so much more than you realise and sometimes just the smallest thing like learning that you yet really can give up a compulsion like biting your nails learning that you can do those things can give you the inspiration and motivation to realize in fact the realization that you are more than you realized you are more than other people maybe realize you can do more, you can see more, you can experience more, and you can create more. More of what you choose. More for you. More of the kind of life that you wish to live. And the kind of world that you wish to shape. Because you contribute to all of this. You contribute to the world, to life, and you shape your own world, and you affect other people as well. And you can do that in a positive way. You could even be a role model if you choose to be so showing other people that they also can stop biting their nails when they see how easy it is for you to do so 
you can motivate them to realize that they also have the power within them to make changes in their life in a way that is quite fantastic in fact quite astounding just how many possibilities there really are possibilities of healing and health possibilities of making changes that will affect your entire life it's not so much that now that you'd no longer bite your your nails it's not just that that's going to change your life forever in itself it's all the other things that come from that the self-belief the realization that you really can make changes so there's a lot more to this than just fingernails there's a lot more to you than just your fingernails and you can do so much so much more in your life you can make so many new choices and changes in your life and it can be quite exciting actually it can be quite an amazing thing As you move forward, realizing that, ah, oh, things will be different. Things really will be different. Really. And those changes. That naturally happen will affect you your mind your body and your life in a positive happy healthy healing way and as we come near the end of this session and I start to wrap it up and start to Bring you back into the world if you're not already in it consciously I'd just like you to thank you I'd like to thank you for taking the time to listen to my voice and for putting the faith in me and the trust knowing that this will make a difference to your life this will change how you feel about your life and about not just your nails but about things about the way you feel about your life and about the opportunities that you can have so That comes to the end. We're at the end. I wish you well. No more nail biting. Just positivity, happiness, health and healing and love. And I can count to ten. When I get to ten, you can open your eyes. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you can open your eyes or you can just leave them closed if you choose, it's up to you. And when you do open your eyes, you can feel like you've had a good sleep, but also you can feel amazing and know that the future no longer biting your nails is going to be wonderful. Take care.